<laughs> this is uh this is stressful. <laughs> um so hey, uh you know, hectic moving and all that jazz. So um I had a request for an update on how the move is going. So number one, uh you can see behind me my entire workspace has changed. I uh, sold the motion rig to my buddy Kenny because there's just absolutely no way uh no way that's gonna ship to Japan. Their houses are way too small. Um so this is my, my current work setup. And um not sure how much my wife wants me to show you around the house in its current disarray, so I'll I'll keep that, that part limited. Um uh, but maybe let's let's go take a short walk. <laughs> uh yeah, so this is this is um a lot of what my house looks like. Uh just shelvings and stuff. We did a yard sale. This is where all the yard sale stuff went. Uh and it's uh pretty it went pretty well. We just got rid of a lot of the large stuff and whatnot. Um, just kind of depressing to sell off all your stuff. Um, yeah. Your eggs, eggs hatch yet, Mama Bird? Doing okay? Alright, so for anybody who's familiar with the garage, um, it's probably the cleanest it's looked in a long time. Uh, really have no excuse over anything but uh like uh server racks gone um uh, and like got the go-kart over there and a bunch of stuff off my walls and off my ceiling and stuff and uh, you know this is still a mess don't worry about that i'm trying to decide what i'm, what I'm bringing with me and what's going to stay here um, i'm trying to get rid of stuff uh it's actually really the quietest this garage has been in a long ass time uh then, um, you probably wondered about this thing over here, so let's take a look. I mean, I'll, I'll just give you the story on this car. So, 13-ish years ago, um, my brother bought this from a mutual friend of ours, and it was M20 powered. It was a shop class um, auto body project. I think they did a little bit of front end collision stuff and repainted certain things. Um, and my brother wanted an S52 swap it, so he picked up an S52. Uh, shout out Mike Rupert. Uh, so this is a legitimate S52. Uh, I know the valve cover says differently, but I swear it's an S52. Um, and my brother just didn't have time for it, so it sat in his garage for a decade. Buddy of mine, Sasha, so shout out Sasha, uh, wanted it, bought it. Uh, he's paying me to, to get the swap working and running. So this is full OBD2, so I know how to do E36 DMEs now. Cool. And uh, after sitting for about 13 to 15 years, the gas tank had absolute rust in it. Hopefully I can find a picture to show you. So I did the whole swap. CF transmission, everything, car starts it and runs. Uh, eBay headers and no exhaust, so it is obnoxiously loud, so I will not start it. And uh, still has stock suspension on the front. Um, I'm not really sure what people want to know about, about the move, uh, as people some people gathered, some people were a little bit concerned. I, I'm not actually going to go door-to-door -door selling printers. Uh, I'll be working for the federal government. You know, if I told you what I'd do, I'd have to kill you and all that jazz, blah, blah, blah. Um, so they're, they're the ones that are in charge of, of the move. Uh, so it's anybody who's been in the military. It's, it's a ton of paperwork. Just kind of right now, it's getting rid of all the stuff I own and trying to fill out a bunch of paperwork to go. So uh, if you know I have stuff you want, give me an offer I might sell stuff to you because any spare cash I have is uh, really useful because you got to pull a lot out of pocket just to go. Um, we're going to try to live off base so that's got extra extra cost uh, for that. Um, and surprisingly somehow I already do have uh, a handle on a car over there. Uh, I'll leave it up to you as to to decide what, what car I would get over there. Uh, it's not a BMW. I think I'm think I'm pretty much out of BMWs at this point. So I'm not sure I'm going to be drifting the first couple months out there. I think just figuring stuff out is, is going to be plenty. But yeah, if there's anything specific you want to know about the move or something you want to see, let me know. I'll see I'll see what I can I can come up with. Um, for anybody who's been in the military, this is pretty pretty par for the course and, and pretty boring stuff. For anybody who's never done it before, uh, a lot of paperwork. Uh, a lot of phone calls, a lot of just trying to get ducks in a row, a ton of paperwork, things that I'm reading through and not comprehending, and 
um, half the .mil websites I need to go to are down. But uh, yeah, that's it's a thing.